MLB playoffs now. Bet online. Dodgers and the Cubs. Darvish against Hendricks. Cubbies a dollar fifteen. Eight and a half opened up. Bet down to eight with the total. Joe Madden getting ripped because why no way Davis in game two? Quote, I really just needed him for the save tonight. He had limited pitches. It was one inning only. And in these circumstances, you don't get him up and then don't get him in. So if we if we had the lead, he would have pitched. That's it. When you have a guy like that coming off the performance he had to warm him up and not use him is equally as bad. The, the difference in this series has been the bullpen. The, the Dodgers' bullpen's been terrific. The Cubs' bullpen in the playoffs is almost eight. And you saw Lackey come in back-to-back games and give up runs. And Turner with the three-run bomb, only the second walk-off home run in Dodgers' postseason history, which was 29 years to the day of the Gibson home run. The ace of Spader on Twitter with this tweet, highest career postseason OPS, minimum 90 plate appearances. Gehrig, Ruth, and Turner. Can you believe it? What a story there is they found him at an alumni game with Cal State Fullerton. (laughs) I mean, that, folks, is a really impressive graphic when you talk about what Justin Turner is doing this postseason and in previous postseasons from a historical perspective. When you're number three in a career postseason OPS behind Gehrig and Ruth, that's something to be proud of. Uh, Of course, you talk about Wade Davis. There are no save opportunities in a game you just lost. And for the Cubs to have to find a way to win a game or be in a position to win a game and get Wade Davis in there in a save opportunity, they have to hit the baseball. Look at the graphic. The Cubs haven't hit a lick in the first two games of this series. A 117 batting average, two walks to 21 strikeouts. That is ugly. But talk about Kyle Hendricks. You know, he pitched the clincher against the Dodgers in Wrigley last October. Seven and a third, two hits, no walks, six strikeouts. He was brilliant in game one of the series against the Nationals. Seven scoreless innings, six strikeouts, only five base runners. He did, however, get hit hard on the second look against the Nats in his last outing, four runs in four innings, although he didn't get seven strikeouts in those four innings of work. Look at the depth of this Dodger team. Man, now it's game three, it's Darvish, and then a 16-game winner, Alex Wood, tomorrow. Darvish went through a mini slump with the Dodgers. But he uh, was great down the stretch. Last four games, if you count the playoff game against Arizona, an 0-7-4 ERA, 21 strikeouts and one walk. Last three of the regular season, 2-0 and with an 0-5-7. And then was solid against Arizona in the game three win when they got out the broom. So we'll see if the Dodgers hang in there and make it a battle of bullpens again. Hey, guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.